How's it going, YouTube? Thank you so much, and welcome to Vagabond Builds. And today, we have something special for you guys. We have a 2022 Jeep Wagoneer Series 2. Now, today, we're going to be reviewing the exterior, interior, and stuff about the car in the Wagoneer family. There are a few, but we're going to be talking about this one specifically. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Let's go. So before starting the review on this beautiful Wagoneer, we want to give a special shout out to Auto Nation Jeep here in Roseville, California at the Roseville Auto Mall for providing us with this car to do our reviews. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for helping our algorithms out. So a little bit about the motor and the specific things about this motor is you do have the 5.7 liter V8 on this motor. You have the Grands that come in with the 6.2 V8. This one has the 5.7, comes at 392 horsepower with 404 foot-pounds of torque. This has the 4x4 option. Get the 4x4, guys. You're not going to regret it. You have the 8-speed automatic transmission. A little bit about the mile per gallon consumption is 16 city, 22 highway on this car and 13 city, 18 highway on the Grand. Thank you so much. So starting off with this front end look, you see that pretty much it's just an extended Cherokee. The Wagoneer name comes back from whenever when the hood on this car has the two cuts here and on the other side giving it more of a definition to the hood does it's not such a boring look is what jeep wanted to do you have wagoneer stamped by letter on a matte silver look you have the full led performance jeep headlight now this whole car comes led equipped along with the rest of the wagoneer family whether it being the rear end or the interior, your fog lights and so forth, it's all LED. So that's a great option to have on these exact SUVs because they're a whole lot brighter when it's night when it's nighttime and you can't see something. You have the multiple rectangular shape grill. I like to compare it to a brick wall, like a regular red brick wall. You have your matte silver trim around this grill. Same thing goes for the lower grill is you have the multiple rectangular shaped lower grill with your bumper sensors integrated into the grill with the silver, uh, the, the matte silver trim. And then you have the beautiful slim rectangular fog, also LED equipped with the matte silver trim piece. Now this car itself, the series two, you have the option of ordering it with a full tow package. Now that comes at its own cost. But I personally would take the tow package. Maybe you want to tow a boat or a jet ski. Having the uh, 10,000 pound tow on this exact SUV, great. You want to tow a jet ski or a trailer or something of that sort, you could do that with this exact car. You have your matte silver valence here. You have your range pad here. Now continuing, we do have the parking light marker here integrated into the bumper fender trim piece here. A little bit about the windshield, you do have your rain sensitive cameras integrated into the mirror on the interior. You do have your rain sensitive windshield wipers. A little bit about the tires. Now these particular ones are the 20s in a matte silver look. The Wagoneer stamp for the center cap here. You can order the option of having a 22. Now the Grand Cherokee does come automatically with the 22s on the car itself, but you can order the option on the regular Wagoneer with the 22s. Moving forward, stepping back, taking a look at this car, you do see, like I said before, it is just an extended Cherokee look. Very beautiful. Now, one thing that I really like about this car, being a patriot, is the flag that they do post right next to the stamped Wagoneer name. Taking a look at the side mirrors, you have the same color on the mirror as on the car. You have your marker, the signal light marker here, integrated into the side mirror and a matte trim look, kind of matching the rest of the car, giving it more of a delicate, elegant look, which I am a, fav a fan of, and it is in my favor. You do have the same color trim on the lower parts of the windows that match the car on each window. You have the matte silver here, giving it also an elegant, delicate look that I like. Now, coming over to the racks, you do have the two-tone rack also. You have the matte silver again and the black tint on all six or all around i wouldn't say just the six on the side but you do have the tint on the rear also coming over you do have your parking 
marker here also integrated in the back side of this trim of the quarter panel. These step pads, you do have a multiple rectangular, something about the Jeep and they like these multiple rectangular looks. Personally, I have nothing with them, but it is a nice look. Gives it a little bit more aspect to the car. So here on this back side of this wagon here, like I was saying before in the video, that it looks like an extended Cherokee. Now Jeep wanted to let their consumer know about the name coming back. And you see the Wagoneer stamped letter by letter on the back in big lettering so people know that it's here. You have the back window and the trim, same color of the car around this back window. You do have the matte silver trim, again, giving it the offset look. You have the matte silver down here also. Now on this exact car, what I wanna make known to the consumer is you'll be able to tell which package this car is. So this is a series two due to this badge allowing us to see what exact package this car has. Now you have the LED tail lights. Like I said, again, full LED everything. You have the LED backup lights, parking lights, also LED. Now this particular package, like I was saying, does not have the tow. I think you should get the tow with a little bit of extra cost. Very useful on these SUVs if you want to tow something, a trailer or a jet ski or a boat and so forth. Depends what you have. Now getting into the interior of this car, we're going to check out the trunk. So right here, you got your electric button. By the push of this button, you're going to hear the beep and it's going to automatic open for you. You see that the third row seating on this car is already up, giving you a smaller trunk space. By the lift of this handle, you get a little bit more compartment. If you need to reach the tire jack or so forth, it is under this plastic, lets you know to pull back and that'll open right up. You do have your hooks if you want to tie something down with some bungee cords or anything of that sort. You have your 12 volt outlet along with more hooks. Now, something about these chairs is right here to put these chairs down. Let's say you're trying to take maybe a I don't know, dishwasher home or something, put your skis or your snowboards in the back. Your handles to pull these are down here. Now, something that I would have told Jeep to do a little bit better is make it a little bit lighter on the pull. Now you gotta pull these back and give it some force for that to fall back. Also on this side here, you gotta kind of give it a good tug and these fold down, make it to the same level. Now. You could also use this if you want to sleep back here. If you're tired or on a road trip, great to have, lay some blankets down. Now you could just pull these. Also, another thing is I wish Jeep would have made these electrical so you don't have to manually put them down or pull them back up. Now, another thing is one, we're going to close this lid. Nice part is It's, let's say it closes on you, it does not shut completely on you. So this will never hit you in the head or bonk you or anything of that sort. So what you can do is press, gives you some time to pull back and hold. And as you can see, I can hold it, come back, and it'll sit in one place if you want to keep this lid in the exact place that you want it. Now there is a setting option depending on your height. You can press and hold that button to set the exact height that you want this lid to open at and then for you to reach to close it. You can manually shut this lid right here by this handle in place, but I don't know why you would want to do the manual. Everybody likes the automatic. Has a soft close option, which is awesome. All right, guys, now that we're done with the exterior of the car, let's enter the interior. Now, before coming inside on this beautiful Wagoneer, what I want to kind of notice is the handle on the exterior of these doors. They kind of have a two-step open that Jeep does. Not a big fan of, so you kind of have to tug and then tug again for that pop for that door to open. What do I see first is you have this global black interior, beautiful stitched leather. You do have the black gloss trim. Now, this could be a plus or minus depending on who you are or what you like. Could be a little bit high maintenance. You see the fingerprints on this black gloss trim. But if you do tend to keep your cars clean, you're not so messy or you don't have kids, beautiful option to have. You do have the grainy wood look here. 
it gives it such a rich feel. Now, something also to notice about this car is that Alpine puts their speakers inside this car. It's a nine speaker system with a subwoofer. I'm a great fan of Alpine. Very clear sound, great beat in the car, if that's what you're looking for also to enhance the drive. Using the step pads to come in, very convenient. Sitting on this seat. Now this is an eight way adjustable seat, everybody. Let me take off my sunglasses, not too sunny in here. But you do have the eight way adjustable seat on the driver and the passenger seat. You do have the memory for each driver. So let's say one or the other is driving. You have the memory for the one or the two. So people get their own settings however they please when driving this car. You do have an electrical seat back and forth. You have it here also on the passenger. You do have good lumbar support on the seat, good back support, very comfortable cushion. Now the holsters on the seat make you feel like you're in the seat on the bottom and also the top. You can control the holsters also, which gives it a very nice option. You have this beautiful leather stitched steering. Now you have this kind of flat plane look on the steering wheel. Newer cars are doing it or the manufacturers are doing it on a lot of cars. One thing I do have against this exact car, the Wagoneer, is they should have updated to the touch sensitive pads. These are kind of just the manual buttons. So it's up to you on opinion, whether you like it or not. I think they should have done the touch sensitive. Gives it more of a newer updated look. You have your regular uh, light panel here on the left, on the lower part of the dashboard. And then you have your electrical parking button here, pull for, pull for on and then push for off. You have your regular manual rods here, such as the signal lights, high beams. You have the windshield wipers based on sensitivity if you wanna um, set that or you know the windshield wiper fluid and such forth. You have the full digital cluster. Big fan of the full digital clusters. Could do a lot with it. Could put full navigation on this cluster. You see the RPMs, the mile per hour and so forth. Something else I want you guys to notice on this car is the captain seats. You have this beautiful center console. Another thing about these Wagoneers that I love is very techy. You literally have a charging pad for your phones in this car. Not a lot of cars have that option. Great option to have. So the charging pad on this center console is right here in this cubby. Set your phone on, starts to charge along with your USBs, your USB-C, your aux, and your 12 volt outlet. Now, in this car, you have so much area, so many cubbies, put your personal belongings, hide things. You have your little personal belonging here if you wanna hook up a USB or a USB-C here. And then you can open up this lid. Also more space, very deep, super deep. About half my arm, look at that, Jeez. Almost fit a dead body in there. <laughs> but if you want to uh, give it a personal, more classy look, flip the lids closed. You have lids for each place. This is the high gloss. This kind of gives you the grainy wood look. And then you have the manual pad here for the hazard lights. The Let's turn on the car. You got the mute button for the music. Parking sensors off and on. You have your lane assist you have your traction control, and then you have this button to turn off the um, auto automatic stop engine control button, if you wanna call it that. You have your tow, tow haul on button. Now, if you press mute, you're gonna press this and you're gonna feel a shake. So every time you press one of these buttons, Jeep allows you to know that something just initiated. Now you have this um, knob, the parking knob, where you no longer have that big lever or the lever here, you have the knobs on this car, which I like it a lot. Gives it more of an updated, newer feeling. You can switch between modes. So if you're driving in a sport mode, if you're driving on the snow, by this little lever here, you can go into sport. So right now we're in sport. We're gonna go to auto, go into snow mode, and maybe we're going off-roading with this car. Since it's a four x four, you're gonna have the sand. Now, a little bit about the four x four. Certain Wagoneers come two wheel drive. My personal opinion and advice to anyone buying these cars is get the four x four you never know when you're gonna need it, but it's a great option to have on your cars. Coming on this 10.25 inch screen. Now the Grand Wagoneers um, compared to the regular Wagoneers has the 10.25 inch screen. Now 
the Grand Wagoneers have the 12.3 inch. So the Grand's gonna give you more of a grand look. On this screen, everything is touch sensitive on this screen. Let's turn it on by the push of this button. You have the music going on. Now a lot of tech in this car, you know, you got your mirror dimmings, your review cameras, you can put down the headrests for the second and third row. So much more to this car, full Navi system. Come over to the media, can control the media. Come home, tells you what song's playing also at the same time. Allows you to know that the Navi's running along with your temperature. You have a heated steering wheel option, heated and cooled seat option on the front two seats. Now on this particular package, the series two package of this Wagoneer, you also get the mid seats also have the heated seat package. The third ones don't have it, but I'm sure in the future they'll put them in then too. Comfort, you can control uh, the tri-zone temperature. So each row has its own temperature setting, which is very cool because maybe you have somebody sitting in the front that wants a different temperature, somebody in the middle and somebody in the back feeling cold or warm. They can each set their temperature however they please. You also have a manual pad right here. So if you want to turn on your AC manually, turn up the ventilation manually, you can do that also along with the touch. That's also an option. So that's awesome because Jeep does give you the option which one you want to press, which one you like to use better. Got to scroll around to find out a lot about these things. Just take some time, look into this great car to have. Let's go in the back, guys. Now being on the back end of this car, you see that the door panel is a little bit different from the front panels. The tweeters are placed above the speakers and you still have the same trim look. Coming in, you see that you have the Napa stitched leather also with the global black color. And then you have the option of manually or automatically controlling these seats, which is great. The manual rod, just like every other seat, is here on the left or on the right, depending on which side of the car you're on. And by the push of a button, here on top, next to the headrest, this car just throws this seat forward, just like this, and you can push. So for any traffic, for the kids or for the guests that are in this car. Now you're gonna be pushing it back, just like that. And you also have a manual rod here. Let's say that button breaks or something, you can still control this seat. Another thing about this seat is once you put it manually, the only thing I have against this exact setup is when you automatically push this automatic button, when it goes forward, it's gonna hit that front seat if this seat is not fully forward. So that's one thing that they you know, should have done is as soon as this button is engaged that this seat goes forward. Let's put that back, just like that. Another thing that's beautiful about this exact seat is that it's a 70-30, so every seat is controllable. You can set it whatever you like. This is not just you know a bench where it's 70% bench and then 30% seat. Now on specific packages, uh, this particular package has the bench. You can get the captain seats, making it a seven seater instead of an eight seater. Uh, some people like the, the little aisle way that you get in certain Wagoneers. Sitting in this car, you see that a lot of space. I'm a tall, I'm about six foot two inches. So standing up straight, you have enough room. You're not gonna bunk your head. A lot of leg room here. A lot of leg rooms, let's say you wanna give room to the people in the back for leg room, you still have enough leg room to give. Now these do recline back, very nice. So if you're on a long road trip, you're not gonna kill your lower back. For us tall people, you have a personal pocket here for the people sitting in this seat. Now coming over to the back of this center console, you do have your personal temperature settings. Like I was saying, it's a tri-zone temperature setting. This is the pad for it. Uh, you can set whatever you like, turn it off, turn it on, turn it up on the current flow or turn it down. You do have your USB-Cs and your USB plugins along with your outlet and your 12 volt outlet also. So very convenient car to have per se on a camping trip or if you're heading around the States. Another thing that is very interesting on these uh, center councils is you get the option to have an ice chest in the center council or even on the Grand Wagoneers to have a gun vault 
option on this center console. What's what, that? That is great. I mean, that, that what car does that? That is so awesome to have. So you flip it up, and that big, deep cubby that I was talking about earlier on in the video turns into an ice chest. So if you have milk, or if you're on a long drive and you have a soda, that's your place where you want to be for you mothers or fathers. That's a great option. Coming out of this mid-range seat. Another thing you don't want to forget is somebody not sitting in the middle. You do have your headrest and your cup holders. Now, something about these cup holders is the depth of the cup holders are, it's kind of small, so you might want to be careful if you have a tall cup, might topple over. Let's go over to the back by the push of this electric button. Very convenient, slide that forward. Now, a lot of space, as you can see, as I'm entering this uh, car, you do have the space that on certain cars or even minivans, uh, you don't have that much space here. Great option, sliding over. Now, I'm sure uh, families have heard this before where nobody wants to sit in the back seat because the leg room, but not on this car. You have so much leg room on that mid-range uh, center area that you can push these seat forwards and have so much leg room on this back seat. This back seat also leans back now one negative that jeep did was not put a lever here uh, that you may control this back seat so what you do is you have to reach back here for this little cord or belt here and as you're pulling up you got to push back and you get that lean of the seat so your back is a little bit more comfortable but all right so done with the interior review now let's take it for a quick spin and see how this car drives let's go you got your button push or push push button. Let's put our seatbelt on. Click it or ticket, everybody. Like I said, full digital dash. Very nice option to have. You got your parking knob here. Reverse. Let's take off the parking. Backup camera, as you can see. Very clear backup camera. Letting you know. And we're gonna go into drive. And as you're doing this, that front cluster does change. Very comfortable. This being a Jeep, everybody, this is just a great car that they came out with. I would tell anyone to buy it. I mean, if you're looking for something new, something updated, this is something that you'd go for. And the price tag isn't so great on these. If you do go grand, you are gonna be paying a little bit more of a pretty penny but if you do go lower on the trim packages on the series, they are gonna be cheaper. All right, everybody, so the review's done on the exterior, the interior of the car. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please like, subscribe again. And then if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. We do have more reviews coming. Stay tuned, keep an eye out. Thank you so much again, guys.